Hello guys, King Abdullah here. Hello and welcome back to Time Motivation. Uh, today we're here at the Canadian Flight Academy about to give you a tour of the facility. Address as you can see is 1250 Airport Boulevard in Oshawa. I really like the presentation of the school. I mean, it's really neat and modern. Airplanes are all modern and the airport as well. Oh, we have two um, intersecting runways, runway 1, 2, 3, 0, which is one of the runways, and 0, 5 and 2, 3. So on any given day, whatever the winds are doing, we're able to get out there and fly. So I'm just back from a flight actually. And um, yeah, come with me. Beautiful. And now we're coming in. Now, as you walk right through the doors, this is the view you're going to be seeing. And here we have um, our dispatch desk who answers all information that you may have uh, regarding flight training. At any point in time, we always have a duty instructor as well who discusses with students about their flight plans and that sort of stuff. Uh, so this is generally what you will see. And every student in the past would have a PTR, pilot training record. Now it's all digital, but uh, they, uh, those records would be, and of course the flight bags for the necessary aircraft documents. Um, right in here, we have a zone where when you walk in, you can just sit in here and wait for your turn and dispatch will answer any questions that you may have. Um, right around there, and I will take you there for a second, is our hangar, especially during the winter. This facility becomes very important because uh, when there's a, an impending snowstorm, we tend to put the planes in and then guard them from the excess snow. Right? Now we'll go through the main hall. Good. Now this screen right here will have information on the partnership we have with airlines and other schools and basically pretty much anyone we're affiliated with uh, when you walk in here you will see it on the screen right here and this is a big hallway these are flight planning rooms we have a lot of them uh, when a student generally comes for flight they'll grab one of these flight planning rooms and then they will do their flight planning so let's try and get in one of those so when a student typically comes in, um, they confirm the aircraft, then they come in right here, grab one of the rooms, and then they will do all their planning, and later they will brief with their instructor uh, what the plan is for the day, what they're going to do. I remember um, seven years ago when I came here, you know, it was all new and a little bit strange, but with time, it's all workable. And here these are just offices for the chief flight instructor and the assistant as well. And we have other briefing rooms that sometimes students use just to study and mostly though for flight planning. And of course, uh, you have here, uh, this is the bathrooms, male and female. And this is my favorite flight planning room. Yes, because it's big, right? So typically when students have to plan for a cross country flight, uh, this is where they would come and then you know use one of the big tables and do all their planning and sometimes you do have students do group studies and these are all spaces that can be used by students um, to read the good bit about you know coming to school and then just doing some reading or some flight planning is you have access to flight instructors and they are always happy to answer any question you may have now we go up i'd like to show you upstairs and uh, we have um, similar facility upstairs as what we have downstairs uh, the only good advantage is um, it's usually a um, lot less busy upstairs and these are areas as well um, that students use to do flight planning and as you can see here we have the weather minimums for Toronto Airways good and also flight planning sheet and aircraft weights here good now we move upstairs now to show you the arrangement we have there now in terms of presentation Toronto always happens to be one of the schools with the best presentation um, the facility is modern the airplanes modern the instructors are well knowledgeable and always ready to help I guess this school is winning big in that department and there we go let's look at the hangar again from a different view yep 
Now some of the airplanes are currently flying. Um, today the weather is uh, marginal, um, not marginal per se, uh, but before every flight you will assess whether the weather we have is suitable for the lesson plan that you plan to do. And sometimes the weather is not as good, you can only do some sort of things like circuit and so on and so forth. And that's the waiting area. And here we have the office of Dr. Gilmore. Um, he used to be here most of the time, really, until COVID hit. Um, the good bit is you get to do your card, your medical card one, card two, and card three, and even the card four can be processed here. I've had conversation that he may be back soon. And these are briefing rooms as well. Um, for virtual briefing rooms, sometimes the weather is not so good and a student is coming 90 minutes away. Uh, so those are times that the briefings can be virtual. Uh, these are also briefing rooms, just the same kind of arrangement we have um, downstairs that students can use as well to do flight uh, planning. There's another briefing room right here. And of course we have washrooms right here. As you can see here, this classroom, these are the classrooms we use for ground school, right? These are ground school classrooms, as you can see, uh, we do run ground schools for the private and the commercial each three times a year, right? And of course, some instructors use this classroom as well to brief their students. Good. And this is another classroom right here. And there's a session that's ongoing with a flight instructor candidate. Now we keep going. Oh, this is happens to be our IT office. Um, it's currently closed because it's the weekend. Uh, guys, this happens to be one of my favorite briefing rooms. Yes, it's big and it's quiet. I'll just lock myself in here and do much reading. I remember this is where I personally did my commercial pilot flight test. Right? And that's just an exit right there, emergency exit. Okay, there's a conference room. And, uh, you know, briefing rooms again. 204, we're upstairs. The same kind of arrangement you have downstairs. And uh, I can see this one was actually used by a student. As you can see, there are notes, you know, it's really good actually coming up here and just reading and reading and prepping yourself for whatever flight um, you have scheduled that day, right? And these are all office spaces, of course, office of the um, president or rather the chief executive of Toronto Airways and all these are beautiful spaces. Yeah, so you can see it's a lot spacious here, right? So now let's go outside actually. Let's go see if there's some airplanes parked right out. Have you been dispatched? Please check with dispatch before departure. And here you can see authorized persons only. Uh, typically, once you're set to go, dispatch will give you access. But I have my access, so there you can see the air traffic control tower in the distance. I am I was flying this with my student, Fox Robles Kiliman Victor. We were just doing the circuit, so we come back and then we park the plane and then tie it down. Now, these are the types of planes that you will see here a 172 S model four seater, uh, fuel injected engine. Uh, 180 brake horsepower. Oh, that's a takeoff. Good. Today, current winds are coming from um, the west. Uh, 26015, gusting 25 knots. So it's a really, really windy day. That's why you don't see a lot of people flying. Uh, because if the student is not at that level, you definitely want to be going out until they can handle it. Because you try to increase it bit by bit. Right, as you can see the facility right here from this angle. Yep. And this is all our apron right here. Typically, once we start the plane here, we go right there in front of the terminal building, and that's why we will do the run up from there. We'll talk to the air traffic control tower for clearance to taxi to the active runway. Right? As you can see, there's been a lot of snow these past couple of days. Right? And you can see snow banks right there. 
it's been a very interesting week flying wise uh, because of the wind uh, and typically on a given day all the squares on the park with airplanes but right now as you can see you're only seeing a couple and the reason is uh, because of the weather if it's not suitable then definitely they won't be flying that day we try to ensure that we only go flying when the weather is suitable um, so the lesson is not repeated unnecessarily you want to spend more time learning how to fly and not dodging the weather right? that's uh, golf in the sierra tango one of the planes we use for um, utility or acrobatic maneuvers such as spins uh, we have two of those that we designate for that um, so we do not fuel them to full tanks we just fuel them to half tanks to enable them um, lighter and be below 2200 pounds for any spin walk and that's our seminal which we use for multi-engine training as you can see it's parked right out here and ready to go this is the other side of the hangar.